Christmas Time by John Clare. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Glad Christmas comes, and every hearth makes room to give him welcome now. E'en want will dry its tears in mirth and crown him with a holly bough. Though tramping neath a winter sky o'er snowy paths and rimy styles, the housewife sets her spinning by to bid him welcome with her smiles. Each house is swept the day before and windows stuck with evergreens. The snow is besomed from the door and comfort crowns the cottage scenes. Gilt holly with its thorny pricks, and yew and box with berries small, these deck the unused candlesticks and pictures hanging by the wall. Neighbours resume their annual cheer, wishing with smiles and spirits high, glad Christmas and a happy year to every morning passer-by. Milkmaids their Christmas journeys go, accompanied by a favoured swain. And children pace the crumpling snow to taste their granny's cake again. The shepherd, now no more afraid, since custom doth the chance bestow, starts up to kiss the giggling maid beneath the branch of mistletoe that neath each cottage beam is seen with pearl-like berries shining gay. The shadow still of what hath been, which fashion yearly fades away. The singing waits, a merry throng, at early morn with simple skill, yet imitate the angel's song, and chaunt their Christmas ditty still. And mid the storm that dies and swells by fits, in hummings softly steals the music of the village bells, ringing around their merry peals. When this is past, a merry crew, bedecked in masks and ribbons gay, the Morris dance their sports renew, and act their winter evening play. The clown turned king for penny praise storms with the actors strut and swell, and Harlequin, a laugh to raise, wears his hunchback and tinkling bell. And oft for pence and spicy ale, with winter nosegays pinned before, the wassail singer tells her tale, and drawls her Christmas carols o'er while Prentice Boy, with ruddy face and rhyme-bepowdered dancing locks, from door to door with happy face, runs round to claim his Christmas box. The block upon the fire is put to sanction custom's old desires, and many a faggot's bands are cut for the old farmer's Christmas fires, where loud-tongued gladness joins the throng, and winter meets the warmth of May, Till, feeling soon the heat too strong, he rubs his shins and draws away. While snows the window panes bedim, the fire curls up a sunny charm, where, creaming o'er the pitcher's rim, the flowering ale is set to warm. Mirth, full of joy as summer bees, sits there its pleasures to impart, and children, tween their parents' knees, Sing scraps of carols off by heart, And some, to view the winter weathers, Climb up the window-seat with glee, Likening the snow to falling feathers In fancy's infant ecstasy, Laughing with superstitious love O'er visions wild that youth supplies, Of people pulling geese above And keeping Christmas in the skies. As though the homestead trees were dressed in lieu of snow with dancing leaves, as though the sun-dried martin's nest instead of icicles hung the eaves, the children hail the happy day, as if the snow were April's grass, and pleased as neath the warmth of May sport o'er the water froze to glass. Thou day of happy sound and mirth that long with childish memory stays, how blessed around the cottage hearth I met thee in my younger days, Harping with raptures dreaming joys On presents which thy coming found, The welcome sight of little toys, 
the Christmas gift of cousins round. About the glowing hearth at night, the harmless laugh and winter tale go round, while parting friends delight to toast each other o'er their ale. The cotter oft with quiet zeal will musing o'er his Bible lean, while in the dark the lovers steal to kiss and toy behind the screen. Old customs, oh, I love the sound, however simple they may be. Whate'er with time hath sanction found is welcome and is dear to me. Pride grows above simplicity and spurns them from her haughty mind, and soon the poet's song will be the only refuge they can find. End of Christmas Time by John Clare.